Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Alright, so we are in this shrine over here, which, you know, we just found east of the village. Okay, that's how you select the magic. I was hitting right and nothing happened. So it puts it over here. Now I can warp over to the... To back to my mausoleum if I want to. So let's try that out. And I figured I might as well since I already have, you know, bat form to go back. So this is your way to get back to the mausoleum if you need to. No, I don't need to see Sanctuary in there anymore. Okay, so if I remember, wasn't there like still some bodies for me to capture? That I can probably drain the blood from. Those ghouls over there, I think blue blood allows you to drain magic. If I were to guess. And let's just uh, press onward. We can head back to where we were thanks to, well... Oh, it turns out there was a switch right here this whole time. I didn't even know. There we go, and I got a health upgrade. There we go. I don't know what that switch did. But there's less of a glow there now. And it's still open. Oh, I got myself a magic upgrade now. Perfect. Right, I don't think there was anything else I missed, was there? I doubt it. I guess I can't switch the bat form when I'm indoors. If I were to guess. Plus, I think there might have been something I missed in the tavern back in the village. So why don't I go check that out too? Which I believe the fastest way is probably just to go... Use the bat form. Take the uh, fast travel to the checkpoint and then we'll be on our way. Okay, that little cinematic, just to switch, you know, just fly around. That looks pretty cool, too. But I wonder if they relied on it too much, which caused there to be so many loading screens in this game. That's probably my one main issue with it. There's a lot of loading screens. Just to get into the pause menu, for crying out loud. Alright, so I'm gonna backtrack to the village. So I think there was something I could have gotten there. That might be one of those 100 secrets. I never committed to saying I'm gonna get them all, and I probably won't. I'll just try to get the ones that I could easily find. Give me that. At least humans return, so that they're not gone for good if you drain them of blood. That would have been very annoying if you had limited resources. I like how these skulls right next to your avatar change color whenever you kill someone. It's actually pretty awesome like that. Just like those little things you notice. Ow. Try don't have to worry about dying so much as long as you drain your opponents of blood. Oh. I keep missing. There we go. He done for. I figured I'll just keep the stel the, stel <laughs> the spell on standby, simply because I keep running out of those, uh, plays. Nah, you ain't worth my time. Alright, so if I remember correctly, the tavern should be around here. I'm gonna go check that out. 
No way, that's not the tavern. Oops. <laughs> that's right, it was the uh, building closer to the north part of the village. And then I'll just fly back to the pillars. Rather than just walk all that way again. Whoa, okay. There's ghosts. I don't want any of this. Hmm, I thought there was like a switch around here. I don't think it's from moving the chair. Well, there can have to have been something. Push the chair that way. No, nope, that's not it. Could have swore there was one around here somewhere. I don't think it's behind the tavern. Hold on, why don't you just give me a couple minutes? Actually, you know what? Let's look behind the tavern. I go behind it. No, you actually can't. In fact, I can't even get to the side of it. Why don't you just give me a minute or two and I'll see if I can find it on my own. Give me a moment. Okay, I made it back to the uh, mausoleum where I ended the first episode. So you know what? Why don't we actually explore it further? I guess there's no way to get to that secret in the tavern just yet. So we'll come back to that another time. For now, let's just explore beyond this way. I wonder where that leads. Well, other than another one of those damn zombies. Actually, there's a little more like a skeleton rather than a zombie. I definitely would not want to uh, drink that, that's for sure. Okay, that's gonna fool me off, so let's switch back to items. I'll probably put the dark heart there. Oh! Whoa! There was a secret right there with that glow. So that just gave me, what, a health upgrade? That's actually pretty cool. I almost didn't see that. Oh, hello. Man, my health bar can actually increase pretty high. Look at that, I got like two of those in a row. Oh, the hell? Oh, there's bodies over there chained to the wall. I can barely see because it's so dark. Is this a new spell? While it is true that natural light weakens a vampire, magical light can have many uses indeed. Huh. All right, well, in any case, is that a spell? It is a spell. Oh, that's much better. Now I can see clearly. I can see clearly now the pain is gone. I always said rain, but I'm indoors. I wonder how long that spell even lasts. It's a good thing I did pick up that uh, extra rune. Uh, I can help ease your suffering by killing you. Oh, damn! The spike balls move a little weirdly. Sorry, you're gonna have to help me. Okay, now it's dark again. Well, that didn't take long. Ow! God, they hurt so much! Please sustain me. Too bad you can't break those. Oh, 
Oh, there's nothing kind about me. I'm sorry. Had to be the bearer of bad news. But there ain't anything kind about me at all. Thank God I was able to get a spell that allows me to see better. Oh, that's a way to get through. We gotta light it up again. Oh, good, more of those plays. I shall call it Bobby. What? I don't think Bobby Flay would have appreciated that at all. Like, why are you naming me after a weapon that kills video game people? Don't do that. <laughs> I just want to make good barbecue. Wait, did I set on a button? The hell? Did it explode on me? That is so rude. Right now, where the hell am I? This was just a very small room. Oh, I need some more runes fast. So I can increase my MP. Oh, speak of the devil. There's some right here. There, that'll allow me to use it a couple more times. Okay, so we can... I think we have to go down. Wait a minute. How the hell do I get through? Something happened! I don't even remember what I did! <laughs> Must have been that pillar. Maybe. Oh, oh, that's obnoxious. Oh, that was not done well at all. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty close to the end, I think. This is just a straightforward room. Take that. Oh, it's gonna give me more magic. I did need more magic. Don't need much of anything else. These, there's certain spike balls, the ones that just move around, take the same path. I hope so. Well, in any case, we uh, got past that particular shrine or mausoleum or whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Bay Victor! Yoink! Get mine now. I had to feast. I was hungry. Wait a minute. Do these guys only throw diagonally? I think so. To Zigster, all now I'm not going that way. The hell? Is that an animal? That's an animal. I don't know if you can actually drain the blood of them. So I go this way to Nactal. So we gotta go through a cave. That must be why I got a light spell, is it? Some kind of emblem there. Kinda looks like a wolf. A very ugly wolf, mind you. But it might be another form. I mean, I remember, like, from playing Castlevania <laughs> Symphony of the Night, that Alucard can turn into a bat, can turn into a wolf, and I think he had a mist form as well? I wonder if you just get all those same forms, considering they're, like, tied to vampires. It just might be it. Oh. That was a very small room then. Just the place to save. Okay, do all these dungeons have the same music? At least in the early stages? 
fine form enables me to move like lightning and leap over obstacles barring my path, but the guise of the wolf brings with it its own kind of hunger and rage. Oh, really? Oh, I can move with... Ow. Okay, that just turns me back. Alright, how do I cross the spikes then? X! Okay. So I don't use spells with this. One well, of these guys do throw in cardinal directions. It ain't just diagonally. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yep, and I can still drain the blood the same way. Oh, there was a button over here too. What was that for? Did I open up anything? I guess we can find out if we go that way. So if you land on the spikes, you get pushed back, but at least they don't hurt. At least not directly. Can you don't? I don't need to hit him once and they're just staggered. Get out of here, you. What the hell is this? It just floats around. I wonder if that's just a way to recover my health, but I'm already full health. Ah, yeah, you can't jump on water. Oh, I think I need the wolf form to get up this cliff. Yep, that's how it works. Can the wolf run on water? No, it definitely can't. It hurts the wolf as well. At least I can hop over it. Yep, it actually does recover your health. I see. Alright, let's go. Let's go check it out. Alright, what's in here? We can go that way. Looks like a teleporter that leads somewhere important. Ooh. I don't think you can hop diagonally, though. Oh, actually, we'll need to- Whoa! That guy's got an axe! And it hits really hard, too. So we gotta be extra careful fighting them. Oops, found another button. I wonder what that's for. I think it's for opening this door right here. There we go, full health. God, you just have to like, get very, just tiny bit close to that side and you just get knocked back like crazy. Okay, now I'm back here in this cave. Okay, that's fine and all, but what was that even for? Okay, I guess I can't use my regular pause menu when I'm in a different form. Yeah, you can't do it. Oh, not my equipment. I don't want to see my equipment. I thought that was the regular pause menu. I'm gonna get those fooled up, like, even through this point in the game.
Oh, that's right. Dark Diary would just show cutscenes again. I don't want to do that. Now let's see his status. I slayed 103 enemies, fed 20 times, found two secrets. So that's cool, I guess. But the game doesn't even tell you if you found the secret. Like, you could just be doing a couple of things. Like, oh, it's a secret. Like, there's no text cue or anything. Okay, that's good and all. I got the wolf form, but why else did I need to come here? Did I need to go back to to my place, my mausoleum, and hop across something? Oh, wait a minute, I know what I need to do. I think I have to go up this cliff. Okay, now it makes perfect sense. That's gotta be the way to Noctal. Oh, I can't go down there, can I? I can. There's another cave over there. I wonder if that's for anywhere important. That's gotta be the way to the village. That must be another beacon. So I should go there too. Yep, there's a cave right here. It's got some kind of statue on it. Huh. I was the superior wolf today. Maybe not tomorrow, but... Let me have this victory. I'm gonna go activate this first. There we go, we got ourselves another uh, warp point. Now I want to check out this cave right over here. I wonder what's inside. Alright, I'm really liking this game so far. Glad I'm giving it like another fair shake. It's just these plays, what is that for? One must be wary in dealing with the spirit forges. The wraith and shades that inhabit them offer items beyond mortal dreams in exchange for a sampling of your blood. The wraith smiths forge their items with forfeit souls. Okay, but what does that have to do with these things? Well, I guess we'll find out. So they said it needs my blood. I guess that means I lose health doing this? I guess I can just walk right in! Nothing to stop me! Shed your blood for me, and these artifacts will be yours. Okay, shed some blood. Is this where I go to shed my own blood? So, you come to the spirit board for help, do you, vampire? Trade your secrets for the blood of the dead, I will. Sacrifice blood for these objects? Like, do I lose max health, or do I just gain- lose current health? Oh, that's a lot of health I just lost. Oh, that's just to get me more of these, really? So, you come to the spirit board for help, do you, vampire? Trade your secrets for the blood of the dead, I will. Am I allowed to do this with this little health? Yep, you can actually kill yourself this way! Darkness. Okay, now we know how these things work. You just give up health to get more consumables. I... Guess that's a cool thing to have? But at the same time, it really set me back? Well, we got the, uh, warp beacon created for here. So why don't we just head back to the mausoleum? I'm gonna drain these humans that I captured. Then we can just go take it from there. I think that would be the best course of action in the grand scheme of things.
Return to the mausoleum. Wait, no, it's a mausoleum. I used to call it mausoleum. And it turns out it was that it is mausoleum. So I was just an idiot. <laughs> Okay, I think there should still be some human victims in here, right? No, they're pretty much spirits now. Huh, alright. I guess I have to find, like, actual enemies to do this. To get more health. Oh well, it is what it is. Can't make it that easy. Okay, so I want to warp back so I can eventually reach Nactal. It doesn't take you to the beacons themselves, though. Oh, here we go. That's where I want it to warp to. Like, this should be the correct place, I hope. Yup! Yeah. Okay, so sometimes it does take you right to the beacon. I think it didn't the last time because it was already right to the pillars. So it seemed a little pointless. Again, I wish I could just feed from these guys too. I mean, don't wolves also have blood? Just gonna throw that out there. They too have blood. They certainly have more than I do at this point. Please help me. Yeah, I just gotta feed these guys one at a time. There we go. <laughs> I had to dig around a little bit, but I got all my health back. Oh my god, look at this shrine right here. It's huge. That's a big one. Oh, there's more thugs. You know, I can get down being the wolf for a little while. So I move so fast in this form. I like that. That little extra speed could go a long way. If I can be completely honest. Alright, should we go in here? Well, I guess there's no time like the present to take a look. Actually, you know what? There will be a time to look. And that will be the future. In <laughs> other words, tomorrow. <laughs> Unless you're watching this later when the time this is live, then you can watch the other part after that. But for now, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next episode when we look inside this particular shrine.